Boom! Oh. Right! How do everybody and welcome back to Immersion Gaming, the best story based games channel ever made in the history of story based gaming channels. Um, right, so we're cracking on now with part six of Beyond Two Souls. Um, what I'm going to do this time as well is because I want to get this game done and finished and dusted because I've got the next game already lined up ready to go to play for the channel and it's a game that I have been waiting absolutely years to play I haven't played it myself yet so when I put it on the channel it's also gonna be the first time of me playing it as well so it's all gonna be fresh to my eyes too um, which I always prefer doing to be honest if I can play it for the first time on the channel then all my reactions and me seeing it is all for the first time so it's all genuine even though with this game it's been that long since I played it I can't remember most of it I did I have still played it years and years ago so the next game is completely fresh but it's a game I've been waiting for absolute years to play and um, I'm not gonna say much more than that until we finish this one and then we'll crack on with next turn but yeah so what I've done is I've played um, three parts back to back so I've played part six, part seven and part eight. Um, so I'm gonna be getting them uh, edited and exported and everything and get onto YouTube as fast as I can. Cause I believe from the look of part eight, when I, the last bit I've just played, um, I don't think there's gonna be many more after that. You might get one or two more after that. I'm not, don't hold me to that, but that's just the way it seems at the end of uh, part eight that we're coming up to maybe near the end of it. Um, so yeah, part six. Um, so we left it in part five where, uh, where was it now in part five? It was where the, she was at the uh, Native Americans um, ranch or farm or whatever you want to call it, wasn't it? Um, something happened and it were, I don't know if it was a storm or what at the end of it. Um, but somewhat, somewhat were going on, wasn't it? You know, somewhat went right. Um, so yeah, and that's where we left it. So we just got up in the morning, and we were asked to get some water for the sheep, and that's where I stopped it and left it. So that's where we'll be starting it from. So she's on the ranch, just got up after a weird night, and it's time to get to know the the Native Americans that she's now with. For how long, I don't know, but that's where she is at the moment. Um, so yeah, I mean, there's not much more I really want to say, apart from, again, I just want to get this one done now. Even though it's an absolutely awesome game and I love it, it's absolutely epic, it's Beyond Two Souls. The game that I'm playing next is one I have been waiting so long to play. Um, and I'll tell you why I've waited so long once we get past this and I'll tell you a lot more about it. Um, so yeah, I just want to get it done now. So, as I say, I've played three parts. Um, so I'm going to do all these intros now and then I'll crack on. Uh, it's probably going to take me two or three days to get all these edited and frigging export. It takes absolutely hours and hours and hours to do. It really does. Um, so yeah, I think other than that, I don't want to yap on too much to be honest because there's not much more to be said is that um, in last one, not really much happened in it apart from a bit of more backstory of how uh, when uh, she got taken to that um, institute or whatever it is, didn't it? And she got to know Nathan and Cole a bit more and stuff like that. But not really much happened apart from that really, did it? It's uh, just more about getting to know her and what she's been through basically in her life. Oh, and she nearly got raped, didn't she, by uh, them assholes in, uh, in the bar, basically. Um, but yeah, other than that, peeps, um, I think I've, I've yapped on enough already. I think let's just crack on with the game itself um, and let you see what happens next with these Native American guys. So, as always, people, if you want to support me at Immersion Gaming and you want to support and help this channel grow and allow me to do much bigger and better things, which I've told you a lot of already, what I've got, the plans I've got for the channel. Um, I have really got a lot of plans going ahead, but they all depend on the channel growing. Um, 
so that I can do all these other, other plans I've got. And it, it's all going to be awesome viewing, it really is. I mean, especially when I can start going places and doing interviews with the game developers and getting the inside skinny on the games and stuff like that. Um, and you find also as the channel grows, a lot of the game developers then will send you games before they've even been released, you know, so you can get like a, an early access view of the game and uh, give your feedback to it as well. So, yeah, and also again as well, like I said to you, I want to be doing some giveaways and competitions as well to give some back to you guys for supporting me and helping me grow this channel. So, yeah, the the way to do that as always, people, is absolutely free. I'm not asking for your money or not like that. Um, it's a couple of seconds of your time is all I'm asking, if, if you don't mind, that is uh, just to click the subscribe button. Um, again, it's totally free, you don't really do it to YouTube, all it does is put my channel into your favourite channels. Um, you don't have to have the notifications on if you don't want, that's again personal preference. Basically, to put the notifications on it's just the bell icon that's next to subscribe and all that does is when I upload a new video, it'll put a little number, a little notification on the bell icon at the top of YouTube and that just lets you know that I've uploaded a new video. But again, that's personal preference, you don't have to have that on. Um, the main thing really is the subscribing to the channel, which again just puts my channel into your favourites, but that really is what's needed to help this channel grow and for you guys to become part of the emerging gaming community. Um, again as well, you can like the videos underneath with the thumbs up button, that helps with the algorithm pushing my video out to more people. Um, and the same as putting comments on any ideas, any feedback, or any just general chat, basically. Just put it in the comments underneath. I'll read through any of it and get back to any years. Um, so yeah, those are the three ways to help this channel grow and become part of our community. And hopefully we can grow this channel together and make it something special. So yeah, thanks again for joining me, people. I hope you're enjoying the game so far. And without further ado, let's crack on with Beyond Two Souls Part 6. Take care, peeps, and I'll speak to you all very soon. Bye. So, welcome back, muckers, to... Part 6 of Beyond Two Souls. So yeah, finally here at part 6. Um, again, I don't know what I've said in the intro because I haven't said the thing in the intro yet because I haven't even done the intro yet. Um, I'm just basically recording some more again. I might do another two two or three parts back to back depending on time um because i want to try i want to get uh, if i'm honest with you i want to get this game done now because um i've got something special for the next game a game that i have been waiting so 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 long to play um and i'm going to be premiering it on the channel while playing it for the first time myself um it's an absolutely epic game and I, for one, cannot wait to play it, but I need to finish this game first. So, like I said, I'm going to record about maybe two or three parts if I can now, back to back. Um, and then I'll do the intros for them as and when I'm going to be editing them and putting them on for you guys. So yeah, without further ado, peeps, thank you for joining me. Let's crack on with part six of Beyond Two Souls. Oh, I'm excited. <laughs> right. Here we go. Need a bucket of water for the sheep. Shouldn't be too hard.
Morning, Jay. Morning. Jody and, and I'm I'm gonna stay here for a little bit and help out. I hope that you don't mind. This is beautiful. Did you make this yourself? that way. Great. I mean, it's good to have some help. Thanks, Judy. Uh, can you get some hay from the barn?
Holy shit, an antique. This has got to be like 40 or 50 years old. Good job. <sighs> Help me, Aiden. Not the whole goddamn haystack. Hey, Jody! Lunch? Okay, L let me just finish this first. <sighs> Put it down anywhere. Thanks, Jody. Lunchtime. Go and join the boys if you're hungry. You coming? Later. I still have work to do. Okay, later then. <laughs> have a seat. Thanks. Are there other Navajo ranches around here? There used to be about 50 some years back. But now there's just us. The others got scared off. The others decided to go live in the city. Not everyone wants to live in the desert. There's a lot of work to do on the ranch. Yeah. Jay takes care of the horses. I wash the churros, and my father does just about everything else. Mm. 
I saw the dead sheep. What happened to them? A storm. They wander out of the pen and choke to death on the sand. What were those noises last night? It sounded like something was banging on, on the house. And... That's just the wind. It makes strange sounds in the desert. Do you always ask so many questions? When I don't understand something, yeah. Yeah? How about if I started asking you questions? Where you come from? What you're doing here? You probably wouldn't like it, huh? So keep your secrets to yourself. And don't ask any more questions. No, excuse me. I got work to do. Mind him, Jody. He's okay when you get to know him. I'll bet. Well, I guess I better get back to it or Paul will get mad. <laughs> See you later. Well done, Jody. Jay's doing. Whoa. Proud and stubborn. Never wants to go in with the others. Do you mind if I try? You worked with horses before? No. <laughs> go right ahead. His name's Ashki. Don't be afraid. I'm just gonna come over there, okay? No, Aiden. This is between him and me. Me, huh? <laughs> hey, Aiden. Ever dreamed of riding a horse? Take him to the enclosure. How'd you do that? We all have our secrets, right? Maybe I misjudged you. If you want to take a shower, it's behind the barn. Ladies first. It's fine by me.
Ooh, I really need a good shower.
And then the guy left running. And you know what? He was never seen again. <laughs> <laughs> It's time to go to bed. What's happening here? Why do we have to lock up the house? Just go to your room, Gertie. And don't come out, no matter what happens. You remember the sheep last night? I don't want anything to happen to you. God, for God's sakes, Paul. What's going on here? Just go to your room. There's nothing you can do.
Brody. Brody, I told you to stay in your room. You could have been killed. What's happening here? What was that thing? You should have listened to me. I stayed in your room. You have to tell me the truth. You have to tell me the truth now. It's Yeitzo. He wants blood. That's all he's interested in. You can't do anything about it. You can't fight his spirit. Spirits don't live in this world. If he's here, there's a reason. You remember, Ashley? We're friends, right? I'm just gonna put my foot in the stirrup and climb up, okay? I need to figure out how to go forward. What do you think, Ashki? We're doing pretty good, huh? That horse is gonna have to tell me your secret. Listen, I'm headed over to the pasture to tend the churros. You wanna come? Sure. Let's go! <laughs> yeah! I know you don't want to talk about it. But I really need to know what happened last night. And the ghosts that surround the house. I mean, do you know who they are? My father says five spirit guardians have always protected our tribe. They come at night to prevent you so from killing us. I don't know if it's true, but Yeitzo has never managed to get into our house. Your father knew the spirit. It's not the first time he's come, right? Yeitzo has always been here. It comes at night and steals souls. The old ones used to say, it's a curse the price our tribe had to pay for living on these lands. My turn to ask you some questions. What are you really doing out here in the middle of the desert? It feels like you're running away from something. I guess I'm just trying to forget. You know, make a new start. Maybe I'm just running away from myself. You're like us. You also have your dark secret, don't you, Jody? I, um...
I have to tell you something. I... Oh, she's there? The bad boy is shock. I... I eat on, oh, she ain't the dish in. That was Paul. There's no water at the ranch. Something must be up with the well. I'm gonna have a look on my way back. I can go take a look if you want. Don't know if you'll be able to do much. I'll do what I can. Where's the well? Uh, it's over there. It's got a windmill. Shouldn't be hard to find. Okay. I'll see you back at the ranch. Okay. See you later. running again.
Fort Crown? And why have I been brought here? Can you see anything, Aiden? Heard the soldiers in the fort. Could it be Yezo?
as I saw in my visions. Nothing here. Thanks, Aiden. Weird. This one has no talisman. Show the talismans to Paul. Maybe he'll know something.
came here in broad daylight. We tried to get to the house. Oh. Tori, get the car! Come on, come on, come on! Start! Start already, goddammit! It won't start, Jay! It won't start! Oh, the entity's coming back. We've got to get to the house. I don't think that's gonna help. There's nothing else we can do. My father told you you can't fight a spirit. Mother gave it to me, like her mother before. She also gave me this. Every detail. here. They were lost, full of hatred for the white man. They bring spirit, kill their enemies, and gain revenge. He turned against them. He was still hungry, hungry for blood. Yet it so is back. He has come to take our lives. We are ancestors. They're the guardians who protect the house, right? They know they were wrong, so they returned to protect us from the evil that they released. They brought the entity here. I mean, there's got to be some way to send it back to its own world. They used a ritual to open the passage. I still remember the incantation, but the ritual is lost. I saw the ritual in my vision. Look, I'll prepare it and you can help me with the incantation. Hurry! He's coming. Right, peeps. Um, I think that's a good place to leave it. Because uh, it's uh, an hour and ten minutes and, and not only that, my camera was fucking beefing saying that it were overeating, so... Yeah, I don't want to attempt fate and uh, end up with no footage because it's frigging throwing a dicky fit because it's... I'm too warm! I don't want to film you anymore because I'm getting too warm now. Does my head in this camera, honestly. So, yeah. Um, again, not the most action-packed of parts, but still good. Do you know what I mean? It's it's not one of them games, is it, where it's full to brim of action and you're going around frigging jump scares around every corner or having to shoot a million people. You know, it's not one of them. It's 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 really really draw uh, story driven. Is this game? Isn't it? Do you know what I mean? It's um, yeah, it's good. Yeah, it's just like an, an interactive movie. Um, I think that's a good place to leave it as well. So next time when we go back, now we know what we're doing. We need to recreate this ritual that the Native Americans did to, uh, well, they did it to bring this spirit to kill the white man, didn't they? Do you know what I mean? But it turned out that this spirit 
were a lot hungrier than that basically so even after killing the white man it was still hungry for blood or whatever it needed um and carried on killing and just killed all native americans as well so that's the link that's why it's after this family um because they aren't being able to send it back to the wherever it's from basically so yeah so that's what we need to do now we need to recreate this ritual um and send it back send it packing basically oh fuck off back to your own get down your own end i know your mum and dad now piss off that's what we need to say to it so yeah um again people thank you for joining me i hope you're uh, enjoying the game uh, like i say it's not full of action it's got action parts in it and it but it's it's more like a a film um which is what this channel is all about in it? it's story based games so yeah this is a prime example of uh, one of them types of games so as i said as well i want to get this done um because the next game is one i have been waiting to play for so many years i can't even begin to tell you how many years i've waited to play this game and um, i'll tell you more obviously when we're getting close to playing it but yeah again thanks for joining me peeps um as always if you want to support us here at immersion gaming it's completely free to do, as I always tell you. It takes a couple of seconds of your time, but really, really is appreciated at this end um, and really helps us out massively. And it's the only way this channel is really going to take off and I'm going to be able to do some of the bigger ideas that I've got, which is going to be brilliant. It really is. And it does involve going to on field trips and stuff and going to the actual place where the games are made and interviewing people and stuff. I've got so many ideas, I swear to God. And like I say, I want to take you guys along with me on road trips so we can have a laugh as well and it'd be good viewing and it'd be good for the people that get to come with me you know what i mean so we'll have a right laugh um, but again i can't do that until the channel grows um so yeah as always if you want to help us grow and you want to support immersion gaming and become part of the immersion gaming community um then as always the main things to do is if you click the like button underneath the video the thumbs up button that helps with the algorithm to let the uh, algorithm push my video out to more people basically also on the same note as the like button, if you put any comments underneath, any feedback, any ideas, anything you want in the comment section underneath, um, that also helps with the algorithm pushing my video to more people. And the biggest and main thing of all is if you can click that subscribe button for me. Um, again, it's completely free, but that really is what's needed um, to help. Like I say, it doesn't do anything, doesn't cost you anything, doesn't even do it to your YouTube. All it does is put ads my channel to your favourites. Again, thank you again for joining me, peeps. I hope you're enjoying this story so far. Um, and I'll get it done and put on for you ASAP. So, take care, peeps. And I will speak to you all very soon. Bye.